It was a Jewish family that I was born into, and I say that as if to say that I'm not Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. And in a sense, I am trying to say that, because although my family uh, were Jewish, and I am genetically Jewish, mm. I have absolutely no subscription to the creed, yeah. and no interest in the the race. I don't believe in race, and I find racial notions so objectionable that I can't think of myself as being Jewish in that way. I'm Jewish for the purpose of admitting it to anti-Semites, and that's all. Uh, it's something that if it matters to someone else that I am, yes, all right, do you, do you want to do something about it? Um, but I'm, I'm not prepared to be Jewish in the face of other Jews. Have you ever been in that position that was in Raphael's uh, glittering prizes in which he was at a wealthy country home, the, the character... The people making anti-Semitic remarks? Uh, yeah, and, and somebody says... Uh, um, yes, I've, I've heard people make anti-Semitic remarks in my presence because I don't look like what people who are anti-Semitic tend to think Jews look like, um, and therefore they tend to tell me all sorts. I remember once being <laughs> one marvelous episode once when I went to my bank manager to ask for some sort of investment advice. I mean, a fatuous thing for me to ask for, but I went to ask for something, and he said, well, look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get you some fellow from the city who'll come down and give you some chat about this. And um, so a strange, flushed, blue-eyed sea captain-like figure appeared who was a big investment figure from the city. Um, and he said, uh, have, you, have you had any advice uh, up to now on, on your investments? And I said, no, well, I, I, I did know someone, and I mentioned the name of, in fact, a well-known Jewish commodity merchant. And I said, well, I've had some advice from him. He said, oh, yes, well, well, that's a very sound opinion. Very sound opinion. A bit of a hook nose, but very sound opinion. And I said, oh, well, well I mean, that's... Uh, <laughs> Um, well now, I didn't find that I was personally offended by that remark. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel he was getting at my race. I find it offensive, as just simply as a human being, to hear people discriminating on those grounds. Um, Anti-Semitic remarks don't offend me vis-a-vis -vis my Jewishness. They offend me vis-a-vis -vis my humanity. You don't feel obliged to say to the man, what did you say? Yes, now look here. I'm Jewish. I'm as Jewish as you are. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, I'll put it another way. I'm <laughs> as Jewish as you're not. I'm as Jewish as you're not, yes. So let's put it that way. And, and, uh, <laughs> um, but I do find it very paradoxical, the idea of being Jewish in England, if in fact uh, one doesn't actually participate in Jewish life or have an interest in Israel or mm -hmm. do all the things which in fact one's uh, m uh, m sort of... Uh, interested Jewish friends, months committedly Jewish friends uh, and relatives to think one ought to do. And often I find myself in great conflict with my relatives mm -hmm. over the fact that I don't stand up and count as a Jew. As I say, I will only stand up and count as a Jew for the purpose of putting down anti-Semites. Yeah. But it doesn't interest me to join the Jews for the purpose of any solidarity. I don't think that the solidarity is important. I don't think it prevents holocausts, for example. Uh, Apparently not. And I think that one of the things which I found objectionable about Holocaust was some moment when one of the characters in Holocaust found when execution was going on on the other side of the wall that he couldn't say the mourner's prayer. I've forgotten the words, he said, and his friends looked pityingly at him as if somehow, if he only had kept up his Jewish commitment, he would have known the prayers and could have kept his solidarity. I think that's, a, that's an invidious idea that somehow his humanity was vitiated by the fact that he hadn't kept up his subscriptions to the Jewish race. You keep up your humanity by keeping up your subscriptions to the human race. And I think that uh, if you don't feel an immediate allegiance to your own racial group uh, for religious reasons, I don't think it's any reason to feel guilty that you've actually assimilated into the group where you live, which is what I have done in England. And it may well be that I shall learn at some future date uh, that I will be dug out and identified as a Jew and burned for it. But that's their problem, not mine. Uh, and in a way, anti-Semitism is the problem of anti-Semites rather than Jews. Your father, uh, who was Jewish as well, uh, but in the same way? No, he was much more uh, committedly Jewish. He was brought up in an Orthodox Jewish household. He learnt the words and he got the script off by heart and actually uh, felt some sort of commitment, if not to the religion, at least to the ethnic background from which it came. Um, and I was always in great conflict with him about the fact that I didn't show solidarity to my Jewish roots. And he said, you'll regret it one day, you will find that your roots will have to be acknowledged. I, I never quite understood what sort of acknowledgement had to be made and what that acknowledgement was for. Um, and it was never resolved uh, at his death, we were still fighting on that issue. But my own children now are 
I mean, they're aware of the fact that they're Jews. They're aware of the fact they might get into difficulties and trouble over the fact that someone wishes to accuse them of being Jewish. Mm -hmm. But they don't feel, therefore, they have to cleave to the racial group in order somehow to enact some hypothetical solidarity on its behalf. Um, in fact, they, they participate, for example, in the nativity plays at school. And my... I think my daughter gets very angry when she is consistently, on account of her darkness, placed amongst the Jewish shepherds rather than amongst the Gentile angels. Um, <laughs> I think she would quite like to be one of the blonde angels announcing the birth of Christ rather than one of the Jewish shepherds simply celebrating it. Um, <laughs> and my, uh, my boys really are completely indifferent. But they're indifferent for them not because of anything special to our family, but because I think so many children now know nothing about the Bible at all. In fact, they make their acquaintance with the Bible through films like The Life of Brian. Gives <laughs> <laughs> you a slightly odd view of it, of Very course. Very odd view of it, uh, indeed. Yeah. Not to... But I, I, I found that when I came to New York, I felt the first twinge of some sort of affinity with other Jews in the sense that here was a city where there were people, um, where there were a large number of Jews, um, often with interests which I shared. Uh, not Jewish interests, but intellectual interests, and I was interested to find that a very large proportion of the Jews that I knew were intellectuals. So therefore there was an affinity with Jews, but by reason of the intellectual uh, interests which we shared. But, um, I see, I'm not Zionist. I'm, uh, uh, and I don't feel myself part of that community, although it constantly tends to accuse the assimilating Jew of betrayal. And I think that's nonsense, really.